Hi, everybody, and um, welcome to this video. Manny Abrego and I are in Nicaragua right now. We're in a resort that's just a little, a couple miles outside of Granada, um, as you can see from all of the like trees. And um, I, I, I'm not sure if these are trees or plants. They're just gi gigantic, whatever they are. Uh, I think some of them are banana trees, but I still don't even know what banana trees um, look like. Um, unless I like see like the bananas on them, um, but um, but but this has been a really exciting trip to Nicaragua and Manny, thanks for flying here to Nicaragua to uh, um, to, do, to to do this video about why Nicaragua is the best country in the world. Yeah, no problem, uh, Joseph. Thank you for inviting me to such a, a wonderful, magnificent country. All right, so reason number ten: Nicaragua is the best or top ten reasons that Nicaragua is the best country in the world. Uh, number one, it has the best coffee. So, what do you think about the coffee here in Nicaragua, Joseph? So, uh, so, so many of the uh, the coffee in Nicaragua is is awesome. And actually, um, the coffee, the Nicaraguan coffee that I've had in the the U.S. has actually been way way better than the uh, Nicaraguan coffee that I've had in Nicaragua. And I kind of suspect that they take all of the really good coffee and then ship it um, ship it overseas. Um, but I. Um, I really love Nicaraguan coffee when I get it in like specialty coffee shops, but, uh, but the absolute best coffee that I've had um, of, of any coffee was coffee that I got from Amazon. I, I ordered just this great big giant bag of coffee and, um, and, and ground, um, um, ground it at home and, and made, uh, made the coffee in that, uh, that Nicaraguan coffee was just so delicious. And, and, and coffee here obviously is, uh, is delicious. We've been drinking, we've been drinking a lot of coffee um, in uh, here in Nicaragua, um, so uh, um, so so yeah, uh, Nicaraguan coffee. Nicaraguan coffee is just um, delicious all the way around. Nice, I definitely agree with that. All right, so reason number two, it's the best country in the world. Is the national flag has a rainbow on it. Now I can't think of any other country with a flag that has a rainbow on it. Can you think of anyone? No, and and, um, and 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 that's something that really sets Nicaragua apart is the gigantic rainbow right in the middle of their flag. And the Nicaraguan flag has the uh, um, the top the top blue banner, the bottom blue banner, and then like the national seal of Nicaragua is in the middle. And then in the um, over the uh, over the top of the national seal is this great big gigantic rainbow. Um, the national seal has other stuff like it, um, it's got, it's got a bunch of like rolling hills or or I think they might even be the volcanoes. Um, and then a and then a bunch of, and then kind of a pool of water in the middle, which might be like Nicaragua, um, but um, but but the, um, the the coolest thing is this great big gigantic rainbow in the middle of the Nicaraguan flag, which like 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 you mentioned, it's probably the only country with a rainbow flag, um, or, or or if there are others, then then the list isn't very long. Nice. All right. And uh, reason number three is Nicaragua has 19 volcanoes. So that's a lot of volcanoes, uh, especially if you're such a small country. I mean, even a big country, that's a lot. Yeah, and that's a, uh, that's a really good point. Um, I'm not sure like which countries have 19 or, 19 or more volcanoes, but it's just really, really cool that Nicaragua um, has so many. And, um, and they're really close to, um, they're really close to Managua and, and to all of the other um, places that are easy to ac um, to access, um, and um, and and they're all kind of in a line um, uh, in the in the middle of the country, and so uh, it's theoretically possible to take uh, to see like all 19 volcanoes in one day. Um, you probably have to start re really early in the morning. Oh, and a lot of the volcanoes are active volcanoes too, and so um, so you can see smoke um, coming up from the volcano if you hike up to the top of it. And they're really, uh, they're really great for pictures. Just, just I think volcanoes are really, really cool. Um, from my like science projects in, um, in grade school, um, so, so, so it's, it, it, um, Nicaragua is just a really cool place to see really, really cool volcanoes. Yeah, it's really, been really interesting. All right, reason number four is uh, Managua is one of the most primate cities in the world. Now, what do they mean by primate in this context? Joseph. So primate um, is actually a geographic term, and the um, primate city means that the biggest city in a country is over twice as big as the next biggest city. And with Nicaragua, then Managua is the biggest city in Nicaragua, 
and the next biggest city, uh, so Managua has 2 million people, and then the next biggest city only has 200,000 people. So Managua is 10 times bigger than the next biggest city. And then uh, um, contrast that to the US that doesn't have a, uh, a primate city, uh, where, uh, because New York and Los Angeles, the two biggest cities are roughly about the same size. Um, and, so, and so there's no city in the US that's just more gigantic than every other um, city in the US. Uh, like uh, like there is in Nicaragua, and the interesting thing about Nicaragua um, compared to like other countries that have primate cities, but Nicaragua actually um, uh, in Nicaragua the biggest city Managua has um, one third of all of the population of Nicaragua. So so the whole population of Nicaragua is six million people. The city of Managua is two million people. So if you uh, if you were to find like three random Nicaraguans, then odds are one of them lives in Managua. So, uh, so, so that's uh, that's why uh, um, that's why it's just really really cool and really exciting. Cool. All right. So, yeah, I definitely was expecting to see a lot of primates, but was disappointed in that aspect, but not in all the other aspects. All yeah, right. And uh, and and, um, and it's sad because uh, because uh, Managua is pretty much all just city. And so I, um, I'm sure there's a few monkeys here. Uh, I, I'm sure there's a few monkeys in Managua, but most of the most of the um, monkeys aren't in um, aren't in Managua, which is the primate city. Most of the monkeys are in um, like in the rainforest or or, or other, other other cities, not Managua. Cool. All right. So another thing is that a reason number five, it's the best country in the world, is that it is the largest country in the Central American isthmus, which is a uh, really cool. Uh, yeah, and um, and um, so so it's way way bigger than the other countries in the Central American isthmus, um, wh uh, which are countries like Honduras and um, and Costa Rica, and um, uh, and obviously not as big as as Mexico, but um, but but it's also really cool because it's bordered by oceans on both sides, and um, and I think um, people in the U.S. take that for granted because. Uh, because the uh, because the U.S. is also bordered by, by by two different oceans on both sides, but most um, most countries don't have uh, most countries don't have that where you've got two different oceans on both sides, and so it's it's a really really cool country to have like two different oceans on both sides. Cool. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. All right, and that brings us to our next thing, which is uh, the six, reason number six: Nicaragua is the best country in the world, and that is the Nicaraguan Canal. So what do you know about this uh, project, uh, Joseph? So uh, the, Nicar the Nicaragua Canal project is really cool and I'm really excited about it. It, it kind of got canceled like 10 years ago because, uh, because it was, um, uh, I think they, um, they paid a bunch of money to some people in Hong Kong or somewhere to build the canal. Um, and, then, um, and then they sent somebody over to the offices and they'd all been closed and boarded up. So I'm not sure if it was like a scam and uh, a scam or whatever, um, but the Nicaraguan um, Canal project is kind of canceled. But it's been around for a hundred years or maybe even more, because um, because it um, and I think it's all I think ever since Panama built their canal, then somebody um, somebody said, oh well, hey, we can build a canal in Nicaragua too, and um, and and it's actually probably a good thing that they canceled it because they uh, um, they were gonna. Um, go through a lot of the um, lakes and rivers in um, in Nicaragua, which would probably completely destroy um, a lot of the beautiful environment in um, in in Nicaragua. Um, it, it probably would have given a few local people jobs, so it might have raised the economy a little bit for some uh, for some people. Um, but so, but overall, it's probably good that they canceled it. But as far as like a really cool futuristic um, like like um, post dystopian um, idea. It's um, it's kind of a really like cool idea, um, but um, but but like I said, it's probably good that they canceled it. But as far as like the idea of it, I'm really excited about the idea. Um, just um, just not necessarily the um, actually doing it. Yeah, it's really really cool. Uh, I definitely agree. The environmental impact the environmental impact is not worth it. All right, so. That brings us to reason number seven, it's the best country in the world, and that is the Corn Islands. Uh, so what do you know about these uh, Corn Islands? Uh, 
And um, just just the name of the Corn Islands is really cool. And I uh, I don't um, I'm sure I'm sure there are other countries with the Corn Islands, but um, but uh, Nicaragua has two Corn Islands: the big Corn Island and the small Corn Island. And the cool thing about the Corn Islands is nobody knows why they're called the Corn Islands. Um, my, uh, my first thought was that they had um, that they grew a whole bunch of corn, but they actually don't grow corn. It's all just rain. Uh, it's all just rainforests. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure somebody has grown some corn there. Um, there at one time. My theory was that they were discovered by Mr. Corn, but um, in Spanish they're called the Maíz Islands. So, so the Maíz Grande and Maíz Pequeño Islands. And um, and so if they were named after Mr. Corn, who was probably actually Mr. Maíz, then uh, th then we would probably be calling them the Maíz Islands in English too. So they're probably actually not named after Mr. Corn. So um, so so part of the excitement about the Corn Islands. Oh, and they're really they're a really nice place to vacation. Uh, they have a bunch of resorts, and you can go like like read a book, um, relax on the beach. Um, they're um, they're just a really uh, a really nice place. And um, but the uh, but the cool part about them is the mystery of. Um, the mystery of why they're called the Corn Islands. Yeah, sounds very interesting. I'd like to go eat some corn on the beach over there. So, all right. Uh, reason number nine, or reason number eight, is that they make a lot of cigars, which is uh, really cool because uh, cigars, from an aesthetic standpoint, are very uh, interesting and cool. Yeah, and um, and the um, the oldest cigar company in Nicaragua is called the Hoya Cigar Company, Hoya de Nicaragua. And if the Hoya Cigar Company wants to sponsor uh, me and pay me to promote them, then I would totally do it because the, the Hoya Cigar Company is really cool. They have this really cool historic um, building. They're, um, um, they're located in the city of Esteli or Esteli. And um, and I, I, I personally, I personally don't smoke um, cigars. I never have, but I really like cigars, and I would totally buy a cigar and uh, and talk about why it's so uh, why it's so good and cool. And and, and they kind of make me sneeze, so I'm not actually um, like like I'll buy it, but I'll probably hold it a little um, a, a, a little far away from me. Um, but anyway, the uh, um, the the Hoya um, the Hoya cigar company is really cool. Um, I totally recommend people to buy their cigars, but um, but but I can't recommend to smoke them because I never I never smoke and, and smoking is kind of um, kind of bad for you, like even, even cigars. So, um, but um, but but it's really really cool that they make um, very very high quality cigars. That is true. All right, so that brings us to reason number nine, which is uh, Lake Nicaragua is like ginormous. It's like huge. So, what do you know about this? Uh, really. Uh, Grand Lake. Yeah, and, and Lake Nicaragua is, is really, really big. It's one of the biggest lakes in the world. I think it's the 20th biggest lake in the world, or maybe the uh, maybe, uh, maybe the 30th, but it's, it's really, really high on the list. And most of the really gigantic lakes are in like northern, uh, uh, northern Canada that nobody's actually visited before. And so, and so the short list of, of lakes that people care about and have, have visited before, um, it's, uh, it's really, really high on that, um, on that list. And then uh, the cool thing about Lake Nicaragua, because there's so many volcanoes in Nicaragua, is that inside of the lake, there are a whole bunch of islands. And then on a lot of the islands inside of this lake, then you can... Um, then there are resorts where you can stay overnight and like uh, like take a boat to and from um, to and from the island. So so, um, so so it's just really really cool. And and because it's a gi it's a gigantic lake, I think you can um, um, it, it's one of the most prominent things on the um, on the map of, Nic of Nicaragua. And it's just a a gigantic lake that you can't see it. Uh, you, you can't even see to the other side um, from one side. So um, so so it's just a really cool, beautiful, um, gorgeous lake. Yeah, I definitely agree with from what I've seen. All right, and that brings us to reason number 10, which is the play El Guigüense. And what do you know about this classic Nicaraguan play, Joseph? So, um, so, so I know a lot because um, people keep talking, um, um, people keep talking to us about El Guigüense, but I don't think I can actually do it justice by me describing it. So I'm going to read the Wikipedia article. Uh, I'm going to read the Wikipedia article on El Guigüense, at least the first paragraph. El Guaguense, also known as Macho Raton, 
is a, satiric, a satirical drama and was the first literary work of post-Columbian Nicaragua. It is regarded as one of Latin America's most distinctive colonial era expressions and as Nicaragua's signature folkloric masterpiece combining music, dance, and theater. And um, since we've been in Nicaragua, um, th there's a whole bunch of stuff about El Guense in various museums. And like I said, everyone, everyone talks about it, pretty much every tour bus um, talks about El, El Guense. But um, I haven't actually seen uh, the play. I think we came at the wrong time of the year. Um, I think they maybe only do it like one, um, uh, uh, one showing per year or or something or something like that or maybe in like local local community um, events that they put on once per year or something like that but um, but yeah um, definitely the next time we come to Nicaragua and we're and there's definitely going to be a next time that we uh, we, we come because this has been a, a fabulous vacation then we need to book our tickets to El Guense first and then book our flight tickets next. I, I definitely agree with, with that statement. So definitely our first time here, but definitely not our last. Well, Joseph, thank you for inviting me on such a magnificent trip to this beautiful country of Nicaragua. Yeah, and thanks. Um, thanks very much, too. I think um, I think our list has definitely proved that Nicaragua is the best country in the world. So thank you so much, Manny, for doing this with me. It's been um, it's been a great video and a great trip to Nicaragua. Cool. I definitely agree. See you next time.